get pumped, get cozy, because today we are going over Flowdesk's newest features. And stick around till the very end because I'm gonna give you a secret tip on how you can get your emails to end up in more people's inboxes instead of their spam folders. All right, let's go ahead and get in. So the first thing that we're gonna go over is folders. And this is something new that they just came out with not too long ago. And I want to explain the use of folders and then how to create and organize. So if we go into your flow desk, you're gonna see there's my emails and then you have folders. And there's a couple of different ways that you can organize your emails based on how you run your email marketing. So you could do it on campaign basis. So every single time that you um, are launching a new course or doing a webinar, you can organize all of your emails into those folders. So like round one of new course and all of your emails in there. Another way is you could do it into segments. So if you only send out emails to certain segments of your list, say you are a photographer, you have a wedding side and a family side. You only email certain emails to your wedding clients. You only email certain emails to your family clients. You could organize your emails in that way. And then the last way is if you send out certain type of emails on Mondays, certain types of emails on Fridays. And so you can organize them by that way too, depending on what type of newsletter um, or what day it is. So those are the different ways that you can organize your emails. All right, so now if we go over to our account, you can see um, I started to organize one with a campaign. So this was a JV webinar. Um, and so I nicknamed it with a campaign and I was adding all the emails in that way. If you already have had an account and you want to organize past emails, what you can do is go to your emails, click these three little dots, organize, and then you can move to a folder, remove it from a folder. And so these are the ones that I've already done before in the past. So we can just start organizing them, adding them to the correct folder. And it will tell you that it's been added. So that's the first new feature. The next one is not a new feature. They've been doing um, segments. However, they have color coded their segments. So if you go over to audience segments, you'll be able to see all of your different segments and you can color code them however you would like. If you click on the three little dots, you'll be able to change all of the colors in there. And so that's really cool. Um, the way that I segment my list is based on where they came from. So if I did a JV webinar with somebody, I will organize them that way. Um, some of the people on my email list are clients of Carrie Love Designs, and so I'm sending them like mass communication emails. Um, and so that's another way that I'll segment my list. So that way, um, for an example, if we go back to my emails, um, a couple days ago, I sent out this email. And it was talking about, you know, try not to email me, email me. Emails and DMs are a lower priority than ClickUp, which is the platform we use. Um, stick around because there's going to be a, another video about ClickUp, so you want to be sure to subscribe. Um, but this is a type of email that only went out to our clients. And so if I wouldn't have had my list segmented, this would have went out to our 2,000 plus subscribers and they would have been confused. Like, why are you telling me this? What's ClickUp? What's my project folder? And so that's a really good way to use segments. Lastly, I'm gonna bring up Flowdesk's email because they have a lot of coming soon features that I'm really, really pumped about. So there's gonna be new analytics and I've gotten to beta test some of the analytics. They are going to be so insightful and I cannot wait to show them to you because it's gonna give you better data on when to send your emails, who's looking at them, and just overall be able to send more effective email communication to um, your subscribers. The next one, new subscriber details, which kind of goes along with um, the analytics and an improved my account experience. They are always improving their platform, which is one of the reasons why I absolutely love Flowdesk. You can grab the promo code to make it $19 a month forever, which is crazy. It doesn't matter if you have 100 people on your list or you grow your list to 100,000, it will always be $19 forever. And that's something that is unheard of on other platforms. So go ahead and grab that promo code if you have not signed up for Flowdesk yet. Down below in the description are some other Flowdesk emails where I go over how to create a welcome sequence from start to finish. 
Um, and it goes over some strategy as well. So what would be a good opt-in for your business and then how to create that opt-in and the sequence. Okay, I promise you if you stuck around to the end of the video that I would give you one secret tip on how to get your emails landing in more people's inboxes than their spam folder. And so I'm going to show you inside of Flowdesk how we do this, how we keep our email list fresh. Um, and we're going to do that by going over to our audience. We want to filter our audience. We're going to go to active. The, the subscriber was or active within 30 or we'll do 90 or more days ago. That's the one that I, I usually choose um, all segments. And we're going to hit apply filter. Now you can see all of the search results up there. What you're going to do next is select all, and then you're gonna hit add to segment. So you can create a new segment, call it um, inactive January, 2021, whatever it is that you wanna name it. And then you're going to send an email to that list. Make the email very short and simple. Just say, hey, I see that you haven't been active. Yeah, haven't opened up our emails within the last 90 days. We just wanted to see if you were still interested. Let us know if you are by hitting reply. If not, then you're gonna be removed from our list within the next seven days, I don't know, two weeks, whatever it is. Then you can go through and do the same um, for the segments, whoever was not, you can go to that exact segment. So after you send that email out, you'll want to filter them, filter out again, go to filter. You'll choose um, the 90 day span just again. And then instead of all segments, choose that same segment that you just created. And then you can go through and delete all of those subscribers that were still inactive after the two week period. The reason why you want to routinely do this, maybe like once a quarter or twice a year. Or so the more dead um, leads or dead subscribers that are on your list, it's going to hinder how many people see your emails and how many people get into the inbox. The more lively your list is, the more interactive, the more people opening your, your emails and hitting reply, um, it's going to kind of put you in good graces and therefore your emails are going to perform better. Because at the end of the day, you don't want subscribers that are not engaged anyways. You, you want to keep subscribers on your list really fresh and interacting with your content because anything other than that is just a vanity metric. We want to make sure that we have people who are excited excited to hear from you and will eventually um, purchase your products or services. Now in the next video, and I have it down in the description below, I have a Flowdesk video that takes you through how to create, find a really good opt-in for your audience, um, create that opt-in and then set up the evergreen welcome sequence that goes along with it. And so that way you can uh, make sure that you are getting good leads onto your email list and helping them stay active right from the very start. So go ahead and check out that video below and then I'll see you again next time around. Thanks.